the innova nameplate has been a stalwart of india's mpv segment for as long as it has existed it got a generational makeover late last year and it seems like maruti is going to cash in on the legend of the nameplate as the rebadged invicto has now been launched it is now the flagship offering sitting at the zenith of maruti's lineup and here's what you need to know about it welcome to zig fast forward all you need to know without the nonsense Maruti has retained the upright design and silhouette of the Innova Hycross which juggles somewhere between that of an outright SUV and MPV and has sprinkled its signature styling elements within it. Just like we saw on the Grand Vitara, the grille sports a chrome strip connecting the headlights which feature integrated tri-element LED DRLs and they make the MPV immediately recognizable as a Maruti Suzuki. There are slight revisions to the contours of the front bumper as well. In profile the MPV sits on smaller 17 inch wheels compared to the Hycross's 18 inches. It still retains the cuts and creases in its profile that add some substance to the design. The rear is a carbon copy of the Toyota with the only change being the tri elements inside the LED tail lights which is another Maruti specific design detail. No layout changes here and that is no bad thing. The high crosses cabin was well put together to begin with and Maruti has only tweaked the color scheme with an all black dashboard complemented by the champagne colored accents around the AC vents and central console. Presence of creature comforts abound. In its fully loaded trim, the Invicto gets a panoramic sunroof, ambient lighting, a 10.1 inch touchscreen system and a 7 inch digital driver's display to name just a few features. Here's a list of the remaining equipment popping up on your screen right now. Even its safety kit is expansive with equipment like 6 airbags, front and rear disc brakes, ABS with EBD, electronic parking brake with auto hold and ISOFIX mounts all being offered as standard fitment. Maruti has opted to offer only the 2 liter strong hybrid petrol powertrain of the Innova Hycross and has dropped the pure petrol option for the Invicto. The MPV is driven by the front wheels only and is geared using an eCVT gearbox. The Invicto is offered in a total of 3 variants: Zeta plus 7 seater, Zeta plus 8 seater and Alpha plus 7 seater. Now, if you're familiar with the brochure of the Innova Hycross, you must be scratching your head and thinking that there are a few misses for the Invicto in terms of bling. And you won't be wrong. But before you warm up to a potential groan, know that the top spec Alpha Plus variant of the Invicto is effectively the equivalent of the ZX variant of the Hycross minus three features: 18-inch alloys, nine-speaker JBL sound system, and the Ottoman seats. In exchange, it saves you rupees ninety thousand in the process. Considering the current high waiting times for the Toyota Innova Hycross, along with the production capacity and impeccable distribution network of Maruti, we reckon that's a trade-off you will happily make. But the question is, will Maruti be able to replicate the ethos of the Innova that has defined generations of the nameplate and made it so successful over the years? Stick around for an answer in our first impressions. Until then, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time around. Thank you.